Well, hello there. Here we are on Saturday, August 22nd, 2020 at 8.34 p.m. up here in Northeastern Ohio. All right, now that we have that out of the way, <laughs> let's see what the sky is offering tonight. So over here in the southwest, we have a 20% lit moon. A nice little crescent over there. And that's a pretty shot there. I do love me a crescent. <laughs> Let me get a clip of that. I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. We'll try to do a stacking of that. And the link you is that for Max. See if it comes out. But before we go any further, I wanted to say that tonight we're on a new camera. It's a Canon RA. It's an astrophotography camera. And all it is is an modified R camera with an IR cut filter for to help uh, bring in H alpha light in which is good for nebulas and all that but besides that difference the R has a 5x and 10x focusing zoom and we are at the 5x right now but on the RA it goes up to 30x I thought that would be perfect but the quality is not as good. Dug on it. I was really hoping this setup would take the place of the P1000. There's just so many issues I'm having with that camera. But yeah, it's just not near as clear. Oh, and we are on the Tamron 18 to 400 lens, and we're at the 400 millimeters times 30. So that is 12,000, which is the same distance as the max zoom of the uh, P1000. And that is disappointing. Now the one thing about the new Canon R5 camera, it has a 5 or 6x to 15x, and I bet you that thing would be perfect. And like I said, the R has 5 to 10x focusing zoom, and this thing has this 5 to 30. It just needs a middle ground here, like 15. That is such a shame. But there we go. Now we can see the settings we have. And let's take it back down from 400. Back down to 18. But doggone it, that is disappointing to me. This would have been perfect. <clears throat> no teleconverters on that uh, Tamron lens. and. and a menu system I can really dig into. <laughs> and one where the camera isn't acting up. Like I said, I've been having so much problems with the P1000, but then I have ever since last year, I think it was. That poor thing is just old and knackered. <laughs> now I'm sure this camera will do a lot better for still pictures at night and probably even for video but it would be pretty much perfect for me if it just had that one middle focusing zoom of 10 or 15 X in there then I'd be happy doggone it <laughs> anyway I hope to be back later for some star and planet watching and see how those come out on another testing night for me. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. Like I said, I hope to be back later. We'll give this a go on the dark night sky, stars and planets, and see how the camera does. But I have a feeling it's going back. <laughs> oh well. It was a good try anyway. 
My mind's not totally made up yet, but it's about 90% there that it's going back. We'll see how it does on Jupiter and Saturn. See if we can get a bit of Earth shine in there, though. Looks like we have a few buddies around there on the uh, moon. Looks like a star at the six to seven o'clock position, and one at the eleven to twelve. Anyway, it's eight fifty-two p.m. up here, and our crescent moon's gonna wave goodbye, along with me. All right, take care now. Alrighty. Well, it didn't take long. It's uh, nine oh seven p.m., and we have Jupiter. That cleared the willow tree and Saturn just about to. And there we go with Jupiter and I see three of its moons. I didn't check their positions so maybe one's on the back side or in front of it. Actually it might be right at the three o'clock position. Yeah, that's it. Ah, oh, these mosquitoes are bad tonight. Yeah, we can barely make out the bands of Jupiter with this setup. Doggone it. Well, it was cool. We did see the moons around it. I'm not even going to bother with getting a clip of this because... <laughs> It's not going to come out, so from here, we'll try to head over to Saturn. Looks like we can see Titan there, down about the 7 o'clock position, possibly. Cool. And there we go with Saturn. It's not coming out very well, but... At least we can see the rings of Saturn. Could try to get a clip. I'll be right back. Okay, quite cool. That's good enough there. So I do believe the RA here has a little bit better low light than the Canon R does. Which I'm not sure why. Since they're basically the same camera just with the uh, our cut filter in here but I'm leaving the information up on the screen so we know what settings I used would like to get some pictures with the another lens and hopefully get a bit of the Milky Way in there which is over to our right but I don't have good viewing here especially with my light polluted skies. Alright, that's enough video. Let me change up lenses and get a few more pictures. Alrighty, now we'll test out the new lens I have here. Well, it's a new old one, used one. It's the Canon 50mm f1.4. And what that means is that f1.4 lets in a lot more light which is what I need for nighttime photography so wow I hope that wasn't gunshots so gypsy if you have your headphones in turn down the volume or take them off <laughs> if I leave that in anyway So I just want to test a few of the settings here. Hey, we have a starburst of Jupiter. <laughs> 
So again, we're just out here testing the low light on the Canon RA Astro camera and the used uh, Canon F1.4 50mm lens. And for some reason, I'm getting a whole bunch of flashing across the screen along with at least two dead pixels, two stuck red pixels. Eh, three of them, I think. Mm. That's not good. Especially for an Astro camera. Okay. That flash is coming from the camera. It's not the sky. That's freaky. But again, I want to test the high ISO on here. Yeah, the sky is not doing that flashing, the camera is. That's trippy. Yeah, this is not the greatest lens for Astro pictures, but I had to get something after selling all that gear. And it's funny how much more noise there is by putting the shutter speed down to something more reasonable for a video, that is. It should be at least 1 30th to 1 60th. Oh, this flashing, nah, there's something wrong here. Alright, so we're having some issues here. Anyway, it's cool. I had a, at least one clear night here. So I can make my decision. And I think with these few problems, it's made for me. <laughs> Alrighty, that's going to do so. Whoa. Totally glitching out here. All right. So the Canon R8 camera with the Canon 50 millimeter lens with at least three pixels burned out or stuck on here. Red pixels stuck. Um, yeah. I think she's going back. Something's up. All right, I'm out of here. <laughs> anyway, I'll try to process these images and footage, and hopefully it comes out all right. All right, so you all take care. Have a great rest of your weekend. It's now 9.25 p.m. up here. Y'all take care. Bye from Ohio. All right, earlier I was having trouble with flashing on the RA, and that's what we're on right now. 1.8 f1.4, 10,000. And there are three stuck red pixels. 10,000. But I want to compare this to the R camera. 16. And up to 20,000. And we're on user 3.